सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा नैष्कर्म सिद्धि सेकेंड चैप्टर पेज सेवेंटी वन वर्स नंबर शब्दाद्याकार निर्भाषा क्षण प्रध्वंसी निर्दृशा निोक्रमदृगात्मक व्यानोती वधियो निशम सुरेश्वराचार्य डीलिंग विद द टॉपिक ऑफ साक्षी एंड अहंकार साक्षी एज ए चेंजलेस आई आई एम द चेंजलेस साक्षी माय ओरिजिनल नेचर एंड अहंकार इज आल्सो माय ओन लोवर नेचर नोन एज जीवा द इंडिविजुअल चिदाभास अंतकरण द मैंड हुच असोसिएटेड विथ एंडउड विथ रिफ्लेक्टेड कॉन्शियने इज काल जीवा द इंडिविजुअल लोवर ऐ आर् वी कैन से वाच्या ऐ That vachyartha I am not real, but it is only vachyartha. It is a not a real I. This is fake I. Ahankar I is lower I. I am is a mixture of higher I and lower I. This is the most important. analysis in vedanta to assimilate the truth the reality of vedanta or vedic teaching what is that in analysis i am a mixture of lower i and higher i lower i is a vyavaharika i that i which is interacting interacting i vyavaharika i vyavahara means interaction with the body mind complex when i do interaction with the lower i even though higher i is there in that mixture it is not a dominant but higher i is there all the time beyond time limitation the time limitation is not there even tatva bodha vaisa sat kim yat kalatraye api tishthati tat sat that which exists all the three periods of time is called existence consciousness principle that is my higher nature that is my real nature that is paramarthika satyam that is lakshyartha i so i the individual the seeker of moksha must know my higher nature and lower nature both are mixed while i am doing interaction i consider this subject matter is very very important for our understanding for our assimilation so what is the difference between this sakshi i and ahankara i or sakshi i higher i and ahankara i the lower i i am in this mixture what is the difference between the two i am two mixtures 
two are there in this mixture. What is the difference? That's what we are seeing. A Sakshi I am is a changeless I and not time bound I. Kala parichinnaha nasti, desha parichinnaha nasti. I, the higher I, Sakshi Chaitanyam is always available at all periods of time, at all places, under all experiences. That is my higher nature. That is why it is a true nature. In that there are no limitations, there are no any problems. That is my higher nature. Whereas Ahankara I, the lower I, is always changing I. It is having Kala Parimiti. It is not available all the time. That lower I undergoes, there is an Avastha Veda. Avastha Veda means Jagrata Avastha is there, Swapna Avastha is there and Sushupti Avastha is there. That three periods of time, three periods of experiences and at different places. That is what he is telling here in this 69th verse. Very interesting and nice observation of Sureshwara Acharya. We can appreciate and enjoy the subject. Drisha, now the whole sloka, Anvaya, we have to do carefully. Sakshi I is what? Nityaha, eternal, higher I. And Akramadrika, it is uh, all the time simultaneously available. Akramadrika means it doesn't have any sequential presentation or sequential appearance. Akramadrika, no change. It is the changeless observer. Akramadrika means changeless observer. What is that? Atma. I, the self, higher I, how many Atmas are there? No, in each person, Ahankaras are many. But Aham, Atma, is one only, Ekaha. That's why Acharya says, Aham, Atma, Ekaha. Aham is not there, but you have to learn to add Aham, Aham, non, non, non that you have to add every time. Otherwise, we look at that Atma is eternal, Atma is Akramadrika, Atma is Ekaha. As those second, third person, different entity, we will think. That is why we have to learn how to uh, own up that Atma, Ekaha, Nityaha, Akramadrika, Aham, Atma. What is my nature? Dhyaha Shabdadhyakara Nirbhasaha Kshana Pradvam Sini Dhyaha Drisha Vyapnoti Iva Anisham All the time, Anisham, all the time without any break, either manifestation form or in unmanifestation form, body, mind, it is changing, but I, the witness consciousness, I am what I do now. That changing mind, I am the revealer. I am the revealer of Kshana Pradvam Sini. That which is every moment, every thought is nothing but a knowledge. Every thought is an experience. Ghata pot thought, book thought, pen thought, house thought means what? Arthadhyasa and Jnanadhyasa. Arthadhyasa means object. First, object is there. Book and book knowledge. Book is there in Arthadhyasa. That object is there. Then that object is there. I know that object is there. That is Jnanadhyasa. So, knowledge. Every knowledge followed by a thought, a thought is nothing but a knowledge about that object. And 
that knowledge is a type of experience, anubhava. So, kshana bhanguram, book knowledge excludes the mic knowledge, mic knowledge excludes the light knowledge, light knowledge comes, other knowledge will be deleted. Computer language, if you want to use, deleted. So, time being, every knowledge excludes the other. Vibhicharati. Vibhicharati means exclude. That is called changing. Every thought, that object it pervades. Vyapini. This consciousness, drisha, vyapi, vapnoti. Drisha means, Aidi Chaitanyam. Aidi Chaitanyam. I am pervading all the thoughts in the form of consciousness. In every experience, there is a consciousness. I am conscious of book, I am conscious of pen, I am conscious of house, I am conscious of that person, this person I am conscious of. That means, I am conscious of means, uh, uh, being a conscious being, I am. If I am unconscious person, I cannot be conscious of anything. Since I have knowledge, means I am conscious of. Knowledge of what? Naishkirme Siddhi book, Naishkirme Siddhi class, 6 o'clock, exactly. You are conscious of time. You are conscious of your book. You are conscious of your mobile. You are conscious of your computer. You are conscious of every gadget, whatever you are using. That conscious of means what? Knowledge. Knowledge means what? Jnanam. Jnanam is what? Nothing but vritti. That vritti can be Shabda vritti or Rupa vritti or Gandha vritti. Knowledge of smell, knowledge of sound, knowledge of form, knowledge of taste, knowledge of touch. Pancha Jnani Indriya Dwara Shabda Dhyakara Nirbhasa Nirbhasa That vritti Jnanam appearing that which is changing Kshana Pratvam Sini within fraction of seconds it will disappear. It won't stay much time. Can you stay only in one thought continuously, hours together, days together? No. If you are having that means there is some problem. <laughs> that should not be. So every time we have food knowledge, later, um, no, and different knowledge, book knowledge, house knowledge, I go here and there, different knowledge has to take place. Chanapradvam Sini. So each knowledge is a new, new, new knowledge comes. But I, the consciousness, Drisha, Chaitanyam, I, the Chaitanyam, Atma Chaitanyam, Dwara, Vyapnoti, Iva. I pervade as it were. I, the Atma, the consciousness, existence, principle is there in and through every thought, that is every knowledge, that is every experience. I am there in behind every experience. Experiences are changing, but I, the revealer of that experience, I am not changing. Experience, book experience, house experience. Book experience is not house experience. House experience is not food experience. Food experience is not fan experience. Fan experience is not bed experience. Bed experience is not flight aeroplane experience. Each experience changes, but the experience revealer, the thought revealer, I am not changing. Vyapnoti, I am there as it were. As it were means I am really there, but as though I am the experiencer. Dhyaha, Anisham, all the time. That mind, Dhyaha means buddhi. Shabda dhyakara nirbhasa dhyaha shanapradvamsini drisha vyapnoti iva. Nityaha Akramadriku Atma Ekaha Aham Vyapnomi. So, if I say Atma Vyapnoti in, in every body, in every body, I am there. 
ekaha atma that is very important there are no many atmas there are no many selves only one self in every body and in every body there are no two three four consciousnesses there are many reflected consciousnesses there are many reflected consciousnesses but there are no many original consciousnesses i the one original consciousness i am there behind every experience of every being every living being in the world sarvatma bhava up to here we saw in the last class beautiful verses enjoy next verse verse number 70 introduction anubandhukti एवं सति बुद्धे परिणा युक्त सति दिस्ज सो दिस्ज सो मीन वाट वेन लोवर ऐ अहंकार ऐ व्यावहारिक ऐ फेक् ऐ मै रोल प्लेयिंग ऐ एम वेन इट इज चेजिंग एवं सति दट चेजिंग ऐ बुद्धे ग्रैड्युअल पर्सीवर् द मैंड अंतकरण इज द ग्रैड्युअल पर्सीवर् बुद्धि मीन हियर अंतकरण आर् मैंड ईज द ग्रैड्युअल पर्सीवर् क्रम दृक् ग्रैड्युअल पर्सीवर् परिणा युक्त परिणा अनात्मा that lower i is anatma i it has got krama it has got parinama it is not uh, uh, simultaneously available it is sequential perceiver sequential observer sequential experiencer go together what is parinama and krama druk go together and kala also involve kala means a time bound what is that time bound past experience is different future experience is different present experience is different therefore i am the sakshi doesn't have kala trayam sakshyam world has got kala trayam sakshyam means what object whatever is observed by me that is called sakshyam the world whole world comes under sakshyam so this is said here yuktam it is said parinamitvam yuktam lower i or ahankara i is a, a changing i it is said in the above shloka further continuation of that what it does this changing i lower i hankara i fake i people are taking it as real i which is not real agnyanis are taking it as real because of that only all miseries all problems taking the non real as real is a mistake that mistake missing and taking something else what missing missing what higher i true i that real i people are missing and taking the lower i as real vyavaharika you can use it but you should not take it as real you should not consider it as real you can use it just like a pot you make use of the pot wonderful but don't take uh, the pot as a real there is no pot you are using the pot in your hand but you can same time you can say there is no pot like that you make use of lower i antakaranam i role playing very much you can use father i mother i grandfather i <laughs> uncle i auntie i so many i ahankara i role playing you can very much play your role but condition is what 
Don't take that role playing lower I as real. If you take it as real, you cannot play the drama well. If you know that it is a role play, you play well. Hmm? Look into the sloka. Now we will read. Atita nagate hityan yoga pas sarva ga gocharan vityat vityatma vanna dhir dhir yasmat te neyam parinamini again description about the lower eye that changing eye the antakarana what it does Dhiyaha, dhiyaha, yasmatu, yasmatu, dhiyaha, atita, anagata, ihatyana, sarva gocharan, yugapatu, yugapatu, what, vittina. Anvaya, you have to do carefully here. Um, Gocharan means, Sarva Gocharan means Vishayaha, objects, objects of experience. These objects of experiences at three periods of time. We said Kalatrayam, that Kalatrayam is what um, um, Atita means belonging to the past, past experience of those objects past experienced objects that is called atita then ati plus e dhatu atita past participle anagata anagata means that which has not yet arrived anagata na agata anagata that means that which belong is belonging to future that which is belonging to future, it which has not yet come, going to come, anagata. Then, ihatyan, anagata plus ihatyan, anagate hatyan. Don't read it as hatya, okay. Anagata plus ihatyan. Ihatyan, how you have to split? Uh, that also, iha, ihatyan, iha, iha bhavaha. Ihatya, Ihatyan, that means present ityarthaha, present uh, uh, experiences, present events, you can say present events are experiences, Vartamana Kala. So, Adita, past experiences, Anagata, future experiences which are going to come, and Ihatyan, present events, past events, future events and present events or past events, present events and future events. All these events, they are all come under what? They all come under Sarva Gocharan, Sarva Gocharan, all the objects of experiences of past, present and future. Vethi Atmavatu, Atmavatu na vetti. This lower eye, Ahankara eye, cannot perceive all the objects, past, present and future, all the three periods of time experiences. Atmavatu na vetti. It cannot experience like Atma, Akramadriku, Yogapatu, Atmavatu na vetti. Yugapatu sarva gocharan na vetti. Yugapatu means simultaneously. Atmavatu yugapatu. Like Atma, simultaneously, this lower eye, dhyaha, mind, cannot experience. Na vetti. Atmavanna is there. Atmavatu. Plus na atma vanna. 
so yogapat atmavat like atma which has got the capacity of experiencing or revealing the every object of past present and future simultaneously and all the time it is available it is not changing changelessly it is the same i i had an experience now i am experiencing future i am going to experience the experience or original i is not changing that is why there is a possibility of pratyabhigna recognition i recognize 10 years back incidents i recognize the present incidents and i am going to experience the future incidents also that means i am continuously there but the ahankara is changing that is what he says here atita anagata ihatyan drum sarva gocharan dhiyah yugapat atmavat navetti this is the anvaya atmavat navetti tasmat tenaiva tena iyam tena ayam teneyam is there tena plus ayam teneyam tasmat tena means tasmat therefore because of this reason because mahantakaranam the mind lower i cannot simultaneously reveal the objects like atma therefore parinamini bhavati this lower i is changing parinamini it is changing bhavati you can supply yugapat tena ayam yugapat na bhavati parinamini bhavati it is changing one that is the nature of ahankara but i the sakshi am not changing if i change pratyabhigna is not possible okay tomorrow i get up as a new person as a new experience i forget my children i forget my husband or family members as a new person thank god you don't wake up as a new person you wake up as the same person <laughs> your experiences may change but the yesterday's experience or day before experience or the sakshi is the same further we will see in the next page page number 72 verse number 71 introduction tataschetatsiddham apashyan pashyati buddhim ashrunvan shrunvatim tatha niryant niryatno vikriyo nichchann ichchanti chapya linga drik chapya lipta drik now from this 71st verse onwards now sri shwaracharya up to 75 he is going to talk about different emotions different emotions he is going to talk what are those emotions another important vedantic foundation principles fundamental principles what are the fundamental principle number 1 we saw many times in upadesha sahasri also i the atma am the observer the experiencer the subject different from whatever i experience i the experience experiencer also there are two experiencers see or no or the mind is seeing the world through sense organs it is a seer number 1 but that mind is taking the help of this chit therefore chit is the real seer and chidabhasa is the fake seer with the help of borrowing the chaitanyam from the original consciousness the chidabhasa 
antakkaranam and uh, observe the world with the help of sense organs the world is drishyam antakkaranam or lower eye is the drik mind is the drik and mind is the drishyam from the standpoint of uh, higher eye the sakshi chaitanyam the original drik since i am the revealer of the mind i lend sentiency to the mind mind becomes the sentiency because of my blessing it gets the status of seer knower observer but really speaking it is not a real observer real knower real it is the object and subject both mind is the object from the standpoint of me sakshi chaitanyam i the sakshi chaitanyam am ever this subject never the object but the antakkarana mind the lower i ahankara is not ever the subject but it is the subject also and object also it is playing the drik role and drishyam role also you know all this but it is the context i have to repeat this this uh, drik um, savikara drik hmm, this word we can change savikara drik ahankara lower i is drishyam also from the standpoint of original drik i the sakshi chaitanya and drishyam from the standpoint of me the drik sakshi chaitanya and uh, antakkarana mind is drishyam also from uh, sorry drik also from the standpoint of the world so mind antakkaranam or lower i chidabhasa is subject also object also it is playing two roles so world is ever the object body world etc are ever the object never the subject antakkaranam is sometimes subject sometimes object and sakshi chaitanyam is ever the subject never the object world body is never the subject very very important point you all know this but i am just loudly recollecting so tataha cha etat siddham therefore finally what we establish the corollary is uh, extremely important here because of the above said ahankara is parinamini it is uh, kshana bhanguram it is a changing one therefore because of this reason because of this reason tataha therefore since um, uh, previous um, um, two verses previous uh, two verses we have understood tataha etat siddham the following idea or following view is established etat siddham the following means from 71 to 75 this we are going to establish it is established siddham what is that going to come which we'll see fundamental principle i am the ever the subject and never the object i am ever the revealer i am different from that whatever i experience is different from me i the experiencer sakshi chaitanyam the revealer is always different from the revealed revealed object is different from the revealer i the subject i am the revealer of the mind and its emotions second corollary is whatever that mind which is revealed by me its thoughts its emotions attributes all emotions are the attributes of the mind what are all emotions in these five verses acharya is going to elaborately present the emotions emotional attributes of the antakkaranam mind they are all revealed by me the sakshi chaitanya 
therefore i never have those attributes like happiness like saru i the sakshi chaitanyam am the revealer of saru of that saru full mind therefore i am not having saru <laughs> i'll repeat i the sakshi chaitanyam higher i am the real revealer of that sorrowful mind which mind has got sorrow therefore i am free from sorrow i the sorrow less sakshi chaitanyam am the revealer of the sorrowful mind which has got sorrow <laughs> therefore its attributes cannot uh, contaminate me the sakshi chaitanyam i am only revealer of the sorrowful mind i am only revealer the mind has got sorrow therefore i the original atma chaitanyam never have any sorrow dukha rahitaha aham asmi same way other emotions also you can take uh, all these emotions actions done by this antakaranam i the atma i am free from all those all those uh, um, emotions attributes of antakarana because antakarana is an object and its attributes like sukha dukha raga dvesha and all other attributes also are not connected to me i am only the revealer they are all revealed they are not connected to me whatever attributes are revealed by me they are not connected to me the atma now let us read the shloka apashyan i have read this shloka apashyan uh, we have to that verb has come in the 75th verse pashyati sarva deheshu pashyati verb is in the 75th verse in this verse um, 71st verse we have to take that verb we have to supply that verb to all the shlokas and uh, buddhi also you have to atma also atma is given in 72nd verse so dvishantim advishan atma so this is the big task <laughs> we have to take atma the subject you have to take from 72 verse number 72 and uh, uh, you have to take um, buddhi buddhim the object you have to take from the 71st verse and the verb you have to take from the 75th verse so then only anvaya comes properly let us do that what first apashyan atma so atma you have to supply here i the atma i the atma diyam buddhim buddhim pashyantim buddhim that buddhi which is ex- having the thought of uh, seeing eyes are seeing the object the thought pervades that rupa vritti takes place vritti means thought where from this thought comes uh, from the mind from the buddhi so buddhim huchi buddhi atma pashyati atma uh, reaches out pashyati means reveal reveal all the uh, attributes atma pashyati means reveal reveal all the emotions what emotions here seeing i see that uh, uh, object form rupa vritti pashyantim buddhim rupa vritti who am i apashyan i am not seeing really because achakshu i am i the atma i am not having eyes achakshu 
I am, but I can see as it were. Because I help the buddhi to raise the thought to see the forms through the eyes by lending RC. I lend RC to the mind that is buddhi and uh, that buddhi goes through the eyes to see the forms outside. So indirectly I am only revealing. When you see an object, a book, suppose a book is there in front of you, either notes or Naishkarma Siddhi book. Huh? Your mind, Antakkaranam, through the eyes it pervades. Rupa Vritti has taken place. Rupa Vritti. This Rupa Vritti thought pervading the object of that uh, uh, book, uh, how it happened? Jada Antakkaranam, inert mind, can it pervade outside? But because of my blessing, the Atma Chaitanyam, I lend existence consciousness, reflected consciousness to this Sadabhasa, Chidabhasa, I lend to the mind, mind exists and mind pervades, rise, thought rise in the mind, mind becomes sentient, thought arise, that thought goes through the eyes means Rupa Vritti, Rupa Jnanam comes experience of forms but i the original consciousness atma is apashyan i am really not seeing because i never i am already there outside also i need not travel because i am all pervading apashyan i don't have eyes i directly won't see but through the antakaranam and through the eyes and i pervade the, uh, the object and uh, I bless the mind. That is the whole Anvaya. I the Atma, a passion without seeing, passion, passionti, buddhim, passiati. Passionti, a passion, passionti, buddhim, passiati. That means I am the revealer of that. Um, uh, thought of form thought rupa vritti of the mind that which is uh, i am pasyati atma pasyati apashyan api pasyati apashyan api pasyati means without seeing i see as though seer i am i cannot be really called as seer since mind is going outside through the eyes and seeing the objects because of my blessing I get the name as the seer. <laughs> Apashyanapi Pashyati Sarvadehesh in all bodies. In all bodies. Sarvadeheshu. Then second one. Ashrunvan Shrunvati Tadha. Similarly, Tadha. I am Atma Atma Ashrunvan. Aham Atma Ashrunvan. Shrinvati buddhim pasyati. That buddhi now, Shrinvati means mind goes through the ears and hear the sound. Shrinvati hears. Here, printing mistake. It is not uh, shu, it is shru. Shrinvati, ashrinvan. Even though I am not the hearer, as though hearer. Because because antakaranam through the ears it goes to the shabda vritti dwara hears the shabdam you are hearing my sound class subject sound you are hearing naishkarma siddhi class the sound is reaching to your ears behind the ears who is there thought is there from the mind it has arrived that shabda vritti has taken place that is why Naishkarma Siddhi Jnanam is happening. Experience is coming to you. Naishkarma Siddhi Jnanam happens because of the thought rising in the mind. Antahkaranam. Without that thought, hmm, Shabda Vritti cannot take place. Vritti means thought. Shabda sound. Naishkarma Siddhi subject that Shabda is entering through your ears. 
blessed by rc is formed because of oc i the sakshi atma chaitanyam am blessing the mind uh, with rc then thought arise it goes through the ears and listen the naishkarma siddhi shabda but i the atma am only the revealer the revealer of that uh, sound shabda vritti sound thought arising in the mind correct but i am not really really the hearer i am as no hearer since i am blessing the mind that mind which is behind the ears which ears are hearing the naishkrima siddhi shabda the subject are you are you following me are you liking this subject it's very very interesting hmm? that shabda apas ashrunvan shrunvati because ashrotram i don't have ears i the atma doesn't have ears how can i hear body mind complex has got ears and indriyam is there shabda indriyam is there shabda golakam is there ear is there golakam is there shabda is there outside therefore all these are happening but originally in me the atma there is no any achakshu ashrotram i am i am earless i am eyesless but as though seeing as though hearing atma aham atma ashrunvan shrunvati buddhim shrunvati buddhim tatha pashyati reveal i the atma reveal the sound that which is arising in the mind in the form of uh, thought or uh, sound thought shabda gnanam thought means gnanam shabda gnanam or shabda sound experience you are experiencing my naishkrima shabdi siddhi shabda experiencing or not experiencing therefore hai the atma original consciousness i am just blessing the antakaranam i am not ashran one even though i am not uh, hearing listening ashran one api shrunvatim buddhim aham atma pashyati reveal then that's why shabda akara vritti shabda anubhava rupa akara vritti rupa anubhava that that akara vritti that that anubhava comes next line nir niryatnah avikriyah anichchan api ichchanti alupta drik atma aham ha atma pashyati here it is in third person aham pashyami you can take if you put in first person aham pashyami or atma pashyati if it is in third person okay now look into the second line niryatnah effortlessly there is no effort if mind has to go to through the ear shabda to know it has to put an effort effort is required will is required deliberately it has to go rupa vritti it has eyes have to see that form and when shabda vritti comes eyes are not involved ears are involved there is a prayatna because different knowledge different experience different thought therefore mind has to be very alert eh? tuesday class uddhava gita class and today's class is naishkrima siddhi class mind has to be alert what book has to bring what notes you have to write <laughs> same notes you cannot write in the same book all subjects so different different thoughts different different notes different book different timings different class all these are happening with effort effort is there but i the sakshi chaitanyam effortlessly revealing all of them niryatna not only that avikriya changelessly vikriya rahita avikriya aham effortlessly it's adjective to atma niryatnah atma without 
without any change without desire <coughs> without any desire hmm, to see uh, some object i need a desire antakaranam mind has to desire to see that object you have a desire to attend this class naishkrima siddhi class you have a desire otherwise how can you come there is a desire <laughs> Desire is required for that antakaranam. Therefore, there is a vikriya. But I, the Atma, am a vikriya. There is no desire. I, the Atma Sakshi, doesn't have a desire. Desirelessly perceiving desired mind. <laughs> Desirelessly revealing the desired mind. Okay. Anichan, that is called Anichan, means desirelessly. Desirelessly, changelessly, effortlessly, Ichantim, Ichantim Buddhim, that mind which is desiring, putting effort, and that which is changing, that is Alupta Druku, I, the changeless Atma. Alupta Druku means never absent lupta means absence a lupta means never have any absence i the atma alupta druku another visheshanam for atma alupta druku is equal to atma alupta druku atma sarva deheshu pashyati reveals pashyati means you don't take it as a seeing here reveals I, the Atma, effortlessly, changelessly, without any desire, I reveal that uh, thoughts of mind which is having desires to see the forms, I reveal the um, sounds, that thoughts which are coming in desire in the mind to see, hear the sounds in the mind, the desired mind which is revealed by me, the desireless one, Sakshi. I hope I have communicated. All like that only continuously comes. Sarva Deheshu Pashyati. The next one is what? Other emotions. These are all Jnana Vritti. Shrunvati, uh, Pashyati. See, this is Jnana Indriya's working job. Now, uh, Raga Dvesha Vritti. Dvishanti madvishannatma kupyanti chapya kopanaha nirdukho dukhini cheva cheva nissukha sukhini mapi. There is a small correction here. Sukhini mapi. Not sukhi. It is not dirgham. It is short sukhi. Now all the emotions at uh, uh, this 71st verse, Sureshwaracharya talked about uh, uh, Jnana Indriya's job, Rupa Vritti, Shabda Vritti. Now in this shloka, he is talking about the emotions at the Antakkarana level, Dvesha Vritti, Raga Vritti, those um, Kopa, anger, all the emotions. So, corollary is what all these emotions are happening in the mind which are not uh, um, contaminating me, the revealer. The revealer. Why you know, ahankara is fake I? Lower I is fake I. It is not real I. It is mithya. I, the revealer, Sakshi Chaitanya, is satyam. I can never be contaminated. Therefore, moksha is not connected to that um, um, emotions which are happening in the mind. Moksha is not connected with the disturbed mind or undisturbed mind. Mind may have disturbances, turbulence. I watch that. I reveal that. I am a revealer. I am the witness consciousness. I am not uh, disturbed by that. I am not having dukkha. If mind has got dukkha, if mind has got uh, 
sukha that uh, pratibimba ananda it is not connected to me if mind has got dvesha vritti hatred thought i am the revealer of that hatred thought which is arising in the mind therefore i am not contaminated by hatred they are all belong to the lower i which is mithya that is why dvishanti you have to apply take buddhim from the first uh, 71st verse first line dvishanti buddhim dvishanti buddhim advishan atma pashyati <laughs> see i the never i the atma am never hit anyone i cannot i cannot hit anyone therefore i the sakshi need not be free or not liberated i the sakshi atma can need not be liberated the sakshyam cannot uh, never be free from all these emotions sakshyam means what mind antakaranam as long as mind is there all emotions bound to be there lord krishna said in bhagavad gita also ragadvesha vyavasthitau tayoh vasham na agachet arjuna mind as long as mind is there attachment and detachment raga dvesha hatred likes and dislikes are bound to be there you are you never succumb to them you don't succumb to them get gnanam you are different from them that is the idea dvishantim advishan dvishantim buddhim advishan atma pashyati i the atma reveal i the atma reveal sarva deheshu dvishantim buddhi the hatred thought arises disliking thought arises in the mind mind cannot be same all the time even gnani's mind also changing nice food comes you know, very nice if it is not uh, uh, congenial not good for uh, um, food uh, good for health suppose some uh, disliking may be there it is not that he will worry about that okay so dvisha advishan atma i the atma who is free from hatred i am the revealer of that hating mind which mind hating some objects some people vishantim buddhim pashyati this is one not only that kupyantim buddhim atma akopanah atma pashyati i am angerless akopanah atma i the self sakshi chaitanyam am anger free i cannot have anger because i am antakarana rahitah mind is not there mano buddhi hankara chittani naham okay mano buddhi hankara chittani naham mind is having anger that anger i am revealing i the sakshi akopanah anger free i the drik atma akopanah atma i the atma i am akopanah kupyanti buddhim pashyati that mind which is uh, shouting angry with other people hmm? kupyanti buddhim pashyati okay these are all emotions i am free from those emotions people say i am so emotional and i am emotional means they are invoking what i lower i i am fat means lower i connected to stool shariram i am sorrowful and a sukshma shariram so whenever they associate with emotions they are invoking the lower i identifying with the lower i which is mithya not knowing it is mithya they identify that is why they struggle nirdukkah i am free from dukkha dukkhini buddhim pashyati atma i the self nirdukkah free from sorrow i the 
सार आत्मा दि सारो फ्री आत्मा एम पश्यति सर्वदेहेशु रिवीलिंग दैट सारो ऑफ ऑल सारो फुल माइंड्स आई दि आत्मा साक्षी चैतन्यम एम सारो फ्री आत्मा एम रिवीलिंग द सारो ऑफ द माइंड सारो ऑफ द सारो फुल माइंड ओके आई दि सारो फ्री आत्मा रिवीलिंग द सारो ऑफ द सारो फुल माइंड्स सर्वदेहेश वह वाटी टीचिंग यू सी निर्दुक्खा हा दुखिनीम बुद्धिम पश्यते निर्दुक्खा हा कहा आत्मा यहाँ टू सप्लाई निर्दुक्खा हा आत्मा अलुप्त द्रिक दुखिनीम बुद्धिम दैट माइंड हो ची सारोफुल अंतक करनम माइंड सारोफुल माइंड सर्वदेहेश पश्यते रिवीलिंग ऑल द सारोफुल माइंड्स ऑफ ऑल बॉडीज नॉट ओनली दैट निसुखा सुखीनीम अपी सुखीनी इस देर सुखीनी आह सुखीनीम अपी सुखीनीम बुद्धिम अपी असुखे निसुखा हा आत्मा द निसुखा मिल बिंबा आनंदा आई एम बिंबा आनंदा एंड आई रिवील द व्हाट दैट दुखीनी प्रतिबिंबा आनंद सुखीनी मिल्स प्रतिबिंबा आनंदा I reveal that is the idea. With this, uh, uh, I'll conclude today. Next class, we'll see more. Om Pur Namada Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namudachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Nameva Vasishyate Om Shanti 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 हरि ही ओम श्री गुरु भ्योनमा हरि ही ओम